SEMA 2009. The cars, the parts, the experience. Nobody brings it to you like Power TV. When it comes to suspension for an American muscle car, Global West have got you covered. And I'm here with Eric Norton to find out all about what's going on for this year's 2009 SEMA. Love your booth, mate. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. You guys have been around for a while now, haven't you? Yeah, we've been around since 1980, actually. So, been around quite a long time. Got some years under our belt, that's for sure. And you cover pretty much anything American muscle car wise? Yeah, we try to hit as much as possible, you know. We've come out with, uh, last year we came out with the Impala line, but we've always done, you know, the uh, first gen, second gen Camaros, A bodies, uh, you know, all your Chevelles, GTOs, things like that. We just also got into the Corvette deal, so uh, we're trying to get our bases covered as much as possible and offer as many parts to as many different cars as we can, so. We work on a lot of different geometry curves and what other guys are doing. Um, we started off actually building race cars back in the 80s, so we have a lot of racing background. That's what it's all basically based off of. So we took a lot of the racing applications that we've done over the years and applied them to street performance stuff. So what happens is, is when you bolt on our suspension, which is strictly bolt on, there's not a lot of modifications that need to be done, you get a more of the racing type environment you the car handles more like a modern day car you know so you know technologies over the years have come a long ways in the modern day cars and we now upgrade the older cars to feel the same way so well on display for this year's 2009 SEMA you've got the new rear end kit as well that's right we came out with the new rear coilover kit which is uh, a really nice piece we're really proud of it using Penske shocks and you know they're very well known in all the big racing circuits NASCAR being one of them um, and uh, they were able to provide us with the proper stroke uh, length and also uh, valving that we needed because all the Penske shocks, you can set up your own valving. So their engineers, our engineers, we all got together and came up with a really nice rear end piece. So what are the advantages of moving the mounting location of the coil over to the front of the differential? Well, what out, what's out there now and what's provided for our customers is the coil over is ran from the original shock location on the differential up to the original shock mount location on the frame side. And what we found over the years building these cars, not only as race cars, but high performance street cars, is that on the frame side, the mounting location for the shock has cracked over time. So now you're gonna put the whole weight of the vehicle on an area that's not meant to support the weight of the vehicle. So what happens is, is you could actually eventually blow your coilover shock out of that location. So what we've done is, is by rolling the coil over to the front of the differential and picking up the load where the original spring will index, we can ensure the fact that if you're doing a street drive, or if you're doing your street performance, or if you're doing your, you know, racing or drag racing, we can ensure that the coil over system will outlast, you know, obviously the toughest of driving, you know, so it'll work out really well for you that way. What sort of applications would this be good for? Well, you know, pretty much all your 64 to 72 A bodies. We're talking about Chevelles, GTOs, Cutlasses, Skylarks, anything from that time period will work. Um, as long as you're, you know, if you're running at stock 10 or 12 bolt, and that's, you know, what we cover most, but we do also carry other bracket styles for your 9 inch rear ends that you're doing, maybe a Curry or a Mosier. So we really cover all the bases there to make sure you're well taken care of. So. You mentioned that most of your stuff is bolt-on. What sort of support system do you have in place for your backyard mechanic? Well, you know, it, it, when it comes to the coilover kit itself, there is going to be some extra welding involved in that particular case. But all of the main componentry that hangs off of the frame, for example, your rear lower control arms, upper control arms, front upper and lower control arms, things like this, this is all bolt-on. Um, even if you're not running a coilover and you do standard spring and shock, all this stuff that we have for these cars is all strictly bolt-on. As far as support, we have, we have, our tech lines are some of the best out there. We can help you. All of our tech guys have either installed or been there during the installation and the building of the kit. So they know the ins and outs and, and can help you through that way. We come, everything comes with full instructions, picture by picture, step by step installation. So. Um, we can help you through any situation, and, and our tech support's really good. So, Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Eric. Yeah. And if you need to get your ride handling just the way you want it, head to the website, globalwest.net.